Hey, Kim. Oh, you want Leslie? What? Huh? What country? Hell no. Okay, hold on a minute. Call back again and they are on. So I'm in my room on live. Bye. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I'm back again on this beautiful hot. It's hot out there. It's hot out there. Hot Friday the afternoon. Y'all come on in, come on in and hit that like button. And we're going to keep on trucking. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep on trucking. Uh, Horticia Harris, hi, Miss Cara, hi. Brian Harris, good afternoon, Mama Cara. Hi. Uh, Miss Jackie Johnson, good afternoon, Miss Cara. Hi. Miss Chan, let's go, Miss Cara. <laughs> Rhonda, the gorgeous one. Hi. Uh, sending love. Thanks goodness. Thank goodness it's Friday. You better believe it. Uh, for Dina, Mike Gregory, good evening. Hi. You're new over here, huh? Welcome. Uh, Bella, trust no one. Hello. Miss Chan, I tried to get a badge. I don't see an option out here on here. Um, I don't see any of my mods, but if any of my mods are listening, could you show uh Miss Chan how to get a badge, please? Let's get it. Hi, Miss Carmen Chan. Hey. Uh this thing has started already. Done started already. Tell you the truth. Uh, hello, Miss Car. Okay, imagine. Can you drop the link? I have it. I have an iPhone. Miss, hi, Miss Carvinger. Could somebody drop it? Could somebody tell Miss Chan? T time with Chris. She's on here. Chris, could you help Miss Chan, please? Jordan Kid. Good afternoon, Miss Carver. Thank y'all for the rose. I mean, the hearts. Ginger C. Wise coaching. Hello, Miss Carver and Chat. I don't remember. If I a uh, good evening, dear Miss Carver and husband. Keep doing you. Y'all know I am. Y'all know I am. Tea time, Chris. Hello, Miss Carver. Hey, Chrissy. Chrissy. <laughs> okay, Rhonda, I want to thank you for this uh, $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Thank you so much. Uh, Anna Gordon. Hi, Miss Carver. Rosa Holiday. Good afternoon. Beautiful Miss Cara. Hi, uh, Rosa. Lillian Bass. Hi, Miss Cara. Jen. Hi. The best family. Hey, you're new over here too. Welcome. Hit that like button. Come on in and subscribe. Welcome. See, Tucker. You have to use your computer to get a badge if you're an iPhone user. Okay. Thank you, Chrissy. Lisa T. Uh, good afternoon, beautiful Miss Carver and Chad. Hi, Lisa. Click claw Paul. Hi, Miss Carver. Hi, Lisa T. How hope your appointment went well. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
<laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Miss Shan. Oh, okay. Shonda thoughts. Hey, Miss Garbage. Hey, Shonda, Shonda. Annette Telefera Deuce. Hello, Mama. Hey, I've been gone for a while. I've been sick. Had to go to the hospital for a minute. Oh, I hope you're better, uh, Annette. I hope you're better. Uh, Miss Chan, I know there is a link also if you have an iPhone. Okay. Uh, uh, Butterfly says, hi, Miss Carter. Hey, Butterfly. Uh, tea Time Chris, yes, Miss Carver has to post the link. Uh, tea Time Chris, I don't know how to post it. You post it. You know I'm new with this. <laughs> uh, Lisa T. Hi, Shauna Thoughts and Chrissy. Hi. Poor Shay Wan. Hi, Miss Carver. Hey, Fanny Hughes. Thank you for the $10 uh, super chat, Miss Fanny. Thank you so much, darling. Hello, beautiful Miss Carver. I want to thank y'all so much. For just trying to help a sister out when I got I got railroaded yesterday. You know, I, I let that girl got the best of me. But I pray that it don't happen no more. I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna keep on trucking down the road. I'm not gonna let her come in here and just uh, steal my peace, steal my glory. I ain't gonna let that happen no more. I'm just nothing from nothing leaves nothing. So I'm gonna leave nothing with nothing, which is nothing. So I'm going to leave that go. She can't steal my piece. I got to let that girl go. She's nothing to nothing. Nothing from nothing is nothing. Sag like, hello, Miss Carvey. Miss Carver. Hi, Sag like, and that Telefera dudes. Yes, ma'am. I'm better. Thank you, uh, Mama C. Love you. Love you too, baby. Love you. Thank you for uh, just uh, coming over here and hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. Click, clack, pow. Hi, Fanny. Rhonda, the gorgeous one. Hello, beautiful Fanny. Uh, for Dino Mike Gregor, I subscribe. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. Fanny Hughes. Rhonda, hi, sister. Hi. Y'all come on in. Come on in with Miss Carver this afternoon. Uh, tea time, Chris. Miss C., she does things while you're alive, so you can uh, mess up your money. So no one tells Missy anything that she says while on live. No, no, no. I ain't. I know it. That's what I'm saying. Don't tell me shit for that devil to come in here and just steal my jewel. Because I'm telling you, that, that devil, I'm telling you, that devil is a powerful sucker. So if, 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 if that uh, hog pen, uh, I ain't going to even cuss. If that if that woman over yonder says something about, don't tell me nothing. I don't need that devil in here in my chat this evening because I'm I'm gonna get paid for this. It ain't a devil in hell gonna steal mine this evening. And guess what? Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. We ain't gonna even talk about it. We're gonna just keep on trucking down the road. We're gonna act like that devil don't even exist. So if y'all see something that devil done said about me and see a big CC. Just keep on trucking. Act like you don't even see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Carver. Okay, that's okay. But I agree, Chris. Yes. I don't remember. To everyone in the chat, good evening. Swing through. <laughs> Y'all come on in. Come on in. We I tell you, besides the devil, now we're gonna leave the devil alone. Besides that devil, it ain't too much been happening. Anybody heard from uh uh, 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 sis over yonder, she ain't come in last night. Maybe she ain't found the rest of that money. She ain't found the rest of that money. I don't believe girlfriend come on last night, is it? Huh? Anybody heard from girlfriend? <laughs> the best family. Subscribe. Thank you so much to, uh, uh, best family. Uh, Miss Diva P. Hello, Miss Carver. Hi, Miss Chan. Right. Stick with your content, snotty. Act like X16 don't exist. I ain't letting that devil steal my joy. The hell with that devil, devil. You better get under my foot, devil. Get under my foot, devil, because I'm going to stump your ass. Leave that devil from stay waiting over here. Don't tell me nothing else about that devil. Uh, Lisa T. Dollar sign, Cynthia5516. Please, 
Please bless the beautiful host. Thank you so much, Lisa T. Thank you for the hearts, honey. Jordan Kid. Coco sent his people to visit you. Told them, go listen to Miss Carvacella. That was mighty nice of Coco. I thank you so much, Coco. And I don't give a damn what kind of theory you come up with, the rest of you motherfuckers. Now I go now. I got to stop it. I don't care what kind of theory y'all come up with. But he ain't did no more to me than y'all and did to me. You can forgive anybody. But you don't forget. But you can forgive people. At least he was man enough to apologize. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, tea time, Chris. Uh, <laughs> just living. Welcome to Rose Bush. Everybody, welcome. Just living to the Rose Bushes. Come on in. Just living. Come on in. Y'all welcome. Just living. Thank you, honey, for coming over here and, and our family. Uh, Miss Baby Dog. Good afternoon, Miss Cara. Thank you for the hearts and the roses. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. And this going to be a happy Friday to me. I see across the street. Everybody over there, they having a family reunion. Over here in my house. <laughs> I got two or three uh, from up the road. New York, I, I'm in my room. I had to shut the door. Uh, all on the patio. I'm going out there with them. But I said, I got to get this live on. So I have them here about a week. And have you, I'm that one, y'all. I'm that one. I love to see them come and love to see them leave. <laughs> I'm sure some more of y'all here like that. I'm sure some more of y'all here like that. But as long as they're here, I'm going to treat them nice. I'm going to make them welcome. You better believe it. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Cara. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. We get it. Was good afternoon, Miss Cara Moss and chat. Sabrina Tate. Hello. But look like, I, don't, I thought Labor Day weekend was for everybody, but damn. Look like it's, I don't know what's going on in my neighborhood. Two, two houses. Cars everywhere, starting at night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Then the house down here got, I'm like, my God, what happened to Labor Day? They didn't get the week before. But if like it's, oh, he's a apologize. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And a lot of them won't even apologize, you know. He, he, he came for me and called me some names, but he did apologize to me. And I accept his apology, you know. I don't know him and he don't know me. But he was a man. He was man enough to apologize. Regala Woods, just living welcome. Miss Clean of the Mess, hello all. Good to be back. Oh, thank you all. Thank you. Lisa T, welcome. Just living. Just living. Thanks, everyone. Just dancing. <laughs> I want to thank all of y'all. Thank all of y'all just for coming over here. Just just uh, getting me a, giving me a view. Y'all gonna love it over here because we have a good time. We have a good time over here. Uh, we're just living down. You go click, clack, pow, Marista. Happy Friday. Good afternoon, Queen Carmen Chat. Thank you, Marista. Tea time, Christian. Yep, I'm like that too. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to see you come, but God knows I'd love to see you leave too. <laughs> you can be here a week, baby. <laughs> You've been here a week. <laughs> Mama Cobb is ready. <laughs> I'm ready to get my life back, you know? <laughs> you know how you, that crab come in, you got to clean up behind them. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because ain't nobody going to do your home like you're going to do it. Nobody going to pick up behind themselves in your home like you do it. I ain't lying. I'm telling you, but I have to hold my mule. Oh, my mule. Y'all know something now? Them folks from the city don't pick up like us people from the country. <laughs> I know a whole, whole lot of y'all are here from the city. But them I know, them folks come from the city. <laughs> they ain't picking up like, like Miss Carl picking up. I, rate, I don't reckon this apply to everybody, you know. But my God. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss Carl Marsh and Chat. Hi, Erica. 
Uh, hey, Mama Carl said, Doris William. Hello, everybody. Okay. Uh, just living. We have a Wang Dang Doodle. Good time over here. You better believe it. Erica, hey, Regala. Butterfly kiss. Exactly. I'll be glad when they leave. Look, I didn't want to come out and say it. I said, oh, God. I said, Lord, just bear with me. I hold my mule, Lord. Hold my mule. Oh, hold my mule. I'm telling you, guy, I didn't want to. Will you pick that shit up, God damn it? Pick it up. Pick up behind your damn self. I ain't able to just come behind and pick up every damn thing you leave. I got to come and pick it up. I asked God to pray. I said, Lord, please hold my mule. Hold my mule. My daughter said, Mama, Mama, I see they done got on your nerve, Mama. I'm just going to take them to my house tonight, let them spend the night. I said, please, honey. It's please, please take <laughs> My oldest daughter, she know when her mama, when somebody get on her mama knew, mama, I'm going to take him to my house tonight. Let him spend the night. <laughs> she always there when mama need her. <laughs> I thank God for my oldest daughter. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a butterfly kisser. Exactly. I'd be glad you damn right. You damn right, a uh, butterfly kisser. Turn, falling over there with Sean's daughter. That's me, Miss Carver. I like that when I go to people's house after 10 minutes, I'm ready to go home. I can understand that shit. I can understand that, but honey, I don't go to nobody's house. Not as it's my two daughters. I ain't going to nobody's house. Sure ain't. Every time you tell them, man, I'm sitting up in your house. Hell no. I can go home and sit up in my house. I know how I be feeling when somebody's sitting up in mine all the time. Uh-uh. I ain't the one. But I can sit up in my own house and make a mess if I want to. But see, but I clean up behind myself. I don't like that damn company coming. Sure. I'm going to leave it alone because some of them probably don't hear listening. <laughs> I don't have company at all. I'm a neat freak. I know that's right. It was Erica said, hey, love. Thank you. Like, good afternoon, Miss Carver and chat. Y'all come on in, regular doors. Hi, Nisi Poo. Miss Chan is laughing. Miss Chan, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you got somebody in your everybody got somebody in their family. Just like these I'm talking about in mine. Everybody got them in their family. I don't give a damn where you come from, where you live. You got them in your family too. Mm-hmm. You got them in your family too. My God, I tell you, Lord, I miss you. I be like, God, Lord, hold my mule, hold my mule. Go on the patio, sit down. I done picked up before I go on the patio. Come back up in here. Ooh, oh, sir, Lord, hold my mule. Uh, <laughs> no, I, hit the like button, everyone. Y'all hit that like button. Come out of them bushes and hit that like button. Uh, Miss Diva, I don't mind having family over. It's always a good time when we get together. Good food and drinks. Yeah, I don't mind it either, but damn. Clean up behind yourself. I ain't able to go around and clean up behind everybody else. I mean, if you, I don't mind you coming, but you can stay away. Clean up behind your fucking self. Don't come in my home and make it easier. I mean, hard on me. Everything you touch, you got it laying right here. All in the bedroom. Hell no. Don't be having no plates and cups in my bedroom. Bring that shit back in the kitchen. And anyway, I don't like nobody eating my bedroom no damn way. Eating the that's why I got a kitchen and a kitchen table. I don't like many visitors. And please don't come uh, uninvited. I love my own company. Even when my dude come, I like I like how long are you staying? I know that's right, Lisa T. I know that's right. I don't mind you coming, but damn. Please don't come in my house with that mess of shit. Uh, doing all this shit and I got to pick up behind you. Hell, I done had a, I pick up behind my grandkids and now they up to the age now. I don't have to pick up behind them no more. Because I kept all of mine. All but uh, them first two. Them first two, my oldest daughter. And they went to daycare every day. But them other two, I raised them from six, six weeks to five years old. And when they left my home, they was picking up behind their own self. 
because I had taught them that. And I ain't got time to pick up behind grown folks. That shit pisses me the hell off. You grown, you should be able to pick up behind your own damn self. I ain't got time. I can't do it. Can't nobody come to our room now. That's off limits. I know that's right. Uh, butterfly kisses. Put plates and cups in my bedrooms. Everybody uh, get them put out. Yeah, that burns the, me the fuck up. I'm not lying, y'all. I raise me. I, but it burns. I can't stand it. Don't take, go in my bedrooms eat. You ain't doing nothing but dropping food and drawing goddamn roaches and ants. Keep your if you hung that damn hung, you eat in the fucking kitchen. If you if you that tired and can't eat in the kitchen, you don't need a damn thing to eat. You don't eat in the kitchen. You in the bedroom, you ain't doing nothing but drawing uh, ants. Uh, hell, after a while you gonna have roaches. Hell no, then you gonna have some on my damn bed spread. And I'm ready to raise hell in. Lisa T. Hey, honey. Myron Middle Health Care patient. Miss Carventure. Hey, y'all come on up in here. Let's talk. We gonna talk about it. I ain't seen no Caleb, y'all. She been on here? Y'all ready should have found that money? Y'all ain't heard from her? Regatta said, I'm with you when you're right, Miss Car. Yeah. But everybody, my husband always tell me, you too put. You too damn. He said, you just too damn perfect for me. I said, hell no, I ain't perfect. It ain't got to be perfect for Jesus. I said, but I'm in, I'm stuck in my ways. I don't like nastiness. I don't like nastiness. I don't. We got to go, I'm with you. Yeah, what up, though? Hey, Miss Carvin Chat, drop down to send some love. Thank you, baby. While you down here, hit that like button. Oh, go ahead and subscribe. What up, though? Brenda Johnson, hello, everyone. Hey, y'all. Uh, Miss Chan, trust me, she watching. She will go live and say she heard somebody looking for her. Yeah, just said, call my name. Call my name, say, you know what you call me, that old lady. Say, I heard that old lady. Don't say I heard. Say, I, I just saw that old lady looking for me. Call my name. Call my name. Call my name, baby. Call my name. You ain't got to call my name. Just say that old lady. Everybody know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, she didn't come on last night, did she? Maybe she's still looking for that rest of that money. <laughs> oh, she getting it together. I reckon she got to get it together for the night, Friday night. Friday night uh, special. She got to get it together and explain where it is. My bucket went down to the other room, and she must have got lost. <laughs> no, my bucket got to figure out what she going to tell that crowd tonight. Where that other money at? <laughs> That's what my bucket got to do. Boy, she got to figure out how she going to tell them. Because that, that 7000 ain't adding up, honey. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't mapping. <laughs> It ain't adding up, counter look. <laughs> she on here feeling like what she gonna tell them, folks. <laughs> Regala Woods. What up? Uh, what up? Hey, sugar. Hi, Miss Chan. Hi, Regala. Y'all come on up in here. Come on up in here. Fake receipts. She was show or somebody or hurt, uh, got sick, LOL. You think she gonna have fake receipts? Nah, we too smart for a, a fake receipts. Uh, uh, it don't work. What's up, sugar? Okay, Amanda, bless Miss Cara. I finally jumped out of the bushes and damn near broke my ankles. <laughs> Since you out of there, Amanda, you come on down here and hit that like button and subscribe. I'm glad you out of them bushes because I know damn well it was hot up there. I know it was hot in them bushes. A whole lot of them are going to jump out in them damn bushes of manna. Come on in here and hit that like button, and we're going to keep on trucking down the road. Keisha Miss said, hey, Miss Carver Chat, I'm late, but I'm here. Yeah, y'all come on in. Come, Y'all talk to me. Y'all might have cried on this hot Friday. Uh, I'm late, but listen to you. Hump the dump that will be on tonight. It's Friday, yeah. I told you she getting that shit the right. She didn't come yesterday. 
You know she's been riding these streets two, two and three times a day, every day. But now we talked about that uh that headlamp, that headlamp trying to find that money. She missed. Right, she got to get it together. She got to get it together. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to deal with nobody's money but mine and my husband. Thank God. I, I, ain't, I ain't coming over here taking nothing, trying to get in no kind of circle, no kind of club, or no kind of nothing. No kind of nothing. Please hunt the double. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, for Dino McGregor. It sure is hot here, man. It's hot as hell here. It was 95 when we, when we, I got back home. It was 95 and it's hot. I don't already cut my fan right on the back. But I'm going out there and, and watch the people next door because they line up everywhere. They have a family union every year. And then my these 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 some here, they begin and out. They're gonna go visit their people. But I won't. I'll be at home. I ain't going visit nobody. Them YouTube checks must be must have come came out. Yeah, they came out Monday. Yeah, I'm sure she, you know, she had to go buy some more stuff for that house and show what she got and this, that, and third. <laughs> I left a boatload in the bushes. Oh, honey, go get it. Get up, go on back up there and get it, oh, man. Yes, it was hot. Go on back and get it and come on down here where it's cool at now. We got a man to stay on down here where there is a breeze because it's hot up there. I'm so scared somebody's going to have a stroke and fall out. Prince. Hi, Miss Garvin Chat. Hi. We got a Woods Prince. Hello. Hello. Y'all come on in here. Y'all, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's going on on the tubes, on the tube street out right here? What's going on? What's going on outside uh, uh, Sister Loretta? Sister uh, uh, Big CC, but Big CC done calmed down. I ain't going to let that devil steal my joy. Mm -mm. He don't steal Miss Carver joy. Ah! Prince said, hi, Miss Carver and Terry Gayla Woods. Prince, hello. Prince said, Rick Gayla, a man of bless. Rick Gayla Woods. Regala Woods, I'm not going back. Okay, Amanda, you here to stay. Lisa T. Amanda, bless. We are happy over here. Miss Carl give it to us straight. No chaser. She real and shares wisdom with us. I try to keep it real. I ain't sugarcoating shit. Sure ain't. Sure ain't. Maybe she's uh maybe they'll get a screenshot in this shit. Maybe she wants to screenshot my cup. My cup. <laughs> I mean, you. Oh, maybe she just wanted to screenshot me. Mm, maybe she just wanted to get uh, this sixty-seven year old woman. Mm-hmm. Regala Woods, Lisa T. Yes, indeed, and I love it. I do too, and I love y'all. Y'all make my day. Sometimes I be sitting back thinking I laugh so damn hard. I said, Lord, how did I get into this? I said, How did I, how did I get into this, Lord? We all love here with Miss Carver. We are. We all. Everybody. <laughs> I said, Lord, how did I get into this? I'd be so tickled. Sometime on, I'm on here. I have to laugh at my damn self. <laughs> oh, God, I'm resting. Y'all, come on, let's talk. What y'all want to talk about on this? We're going to keep it positive now. What y'all want to talk about on this positive Friday? Because uh, Miss Carver ain't seen nothing. You know, uh, my commentary ain't been on. She ain't been on. And I don't want to talk about so I'm just going to let nothing from nothing leave nothing. Stay over there with nothing. I ain't going to. She ain't worth it. Well, uh -huh. Rita Wheels, we are so glad you came. Yes. Yes. Y'all make my day every day when I come up on here. Uh, you should do. Yep. Y'all, let's talk about it. Now, what's going on? What's going on, friends? Sorry I was late taking care of my mother's need. That's your first priority, uh, Prince. If you don't come at all, that's your first priority. Lord, I wish I could take 
care of my mother needs one more time. And y'all will never see me. That's a blessing. Lord, have mercy. Now that's a blessing, Prince. God be the glory. Mm, 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 mm. Miss Carver, I was intending to tell you this morning that my mom is 73 and still working and drinking her beer and her crown royal. It ain't damn thing wrong with it. That's all I can say. She done put her time in and it ain't nobody's damn business what she do with her time she got left. She done put her time in. It ain't nobody's business. Prince said, my mom is 85. God be the glory. Prince, your mama is blessed. I don't care what your mama need, uh, Prince, you be that for your mother. Don't worry about what no nothing said about your mother. That's your mother. And you might use a, a, a damn good person for sticking by your mother. Damn good person. Lord, if I could just wait on mine one more time. Yes, it is, Miss My Mom. Bless hand. My baby back. Hey, Miss Carver. Okay, bless hand. I uh, regret it was. Also, my mom gets around way better than me, and she is retired from the shipyard and then runs a bar. Oh, my. That is something. Regala, that is something right there. So she get along, get around better than you. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lisa T said, me too. I miss my mother so much. It ain't nothing like a mother. My mama is my best friend. Always in my life been my best friend. I could tell my mama anything. Anything. She could come and tell me. I go, go up there with my mama, me and her laugh and talk. She'll call me, come up here, come on up here, Ann. I go up there, we laugh and talk. My mama tell me anything and everything. If she ever wanted something, she would call Ann. She would call Ann. That was before. No, I ain't, I ain't going to too much of my business. Uh, my baby, okay, and my mom gets okay. Ain't nothing like a mother. Ain't nothing like a mother. I'm telling y'all, ain't nothing like a mother. And my mama loved my two girls to death, just like she loved me. And don't say nothing about my oldest daughter. My, 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 she loved her. Love her, love her. Because that's the first girl that was here. Now, my brother had a girl, but see, they always was out of the country. They was, he was military. So my daughter really was the first one because the oldest one was always out of the country. And my, 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 she loved my daughter. My daughter loved her. Me too. I miss my mama so much. Lisa, I have been picking from the bushes. Someone asked me to. What is this? I can't. Someone asked me. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I have been picking from the bushes. Someone asked to buy me a blow up mattress. Come on, let's talk about it. I love Miss Garrett. Okay, Amanda, thank you so much. Look at little Dale sticking out. Little Dale, put your tongue in your mouth and stop that slobbing now. Put your tongue in your mouth, Dale. Regalia Woods Prince, what, what a blessing. I'm telling you. If anybody uh, got a mama 85 years old, that's a blessing. And I don't give a damn what nobody say. And if, a, if any of you mother suckers on here talking about anybody's mother, that's 85 or 90 plus years old. 
not even 85, 75 of 60 years old. You are the lowest of the lowest. If you can come on here and dox a woman 90 years old and put her pictures up on this motherfucker, you are the lowest of the lowest. You are nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You ain't worth even talking about it. So we're going to keep on trucking. You ain't worth talking about it, bitch. So we're going to keep on trucking. It's been quiet in the streets today. Seems like everybody's laid back. Yeah, that's what I said. I ain't seen nothing up on this on these streets today. What is it? Is it the weekend party Friday night? Is it Friday night or is it the weekend? Is it the weekend? I know how I used to get back in the day. <laughs> I had my first baby at 24. But man, from 18, 18 to 23, mama was a rolling stone. And papa was too. <laughs> I couldn't wait for Friday night. Shit, most of the time I didn't wait for Friday night. <laughs> I was doing it through the week. But I still went to work every fucking day. Went to work every day. <laughs> uh, she has a birthday, 10, 14. Oh, thankful life. It's truly a beautiful blessing. It is. You see, a lot of people don't know nothing about a, 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 a mother. Because they... A lot of these people didn't even have a mother to raise them. They ain't dependent on their grandmother. So that's why they come on here and talk shit about people's mother. Because they never had a mother to raise them. Their grandmammy had to raise them. Mm -hmm. Let's clean up the mess. Hey, sis, Prince. Regala, I'm truly blessed. I know that's right, Prince. Hold your head up, and I don't care what your mama need. You be there for her. Butterfly kisses. There's nothing like a mother's love. I can tell y'all something right now, but I ain't going to do it because I don't let y'all get in my business like that. I ain't going to do it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get in Miss Carver's business when it pertaining to my mother. But it'll bring tears to everybody's eyes. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, bless hands. We love you too, Miss Carver. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Prince, me too. I'm the baby of eight. You the baby, Chris? Oh my, sure is that my mom means the world to me. <laughs> my mama, my mama ain't nothing like my mama. Ain't nobody here never had a mama like I had. And like I still got. When I said like I had, I'm not saying like she did. I'm talking about like I had because she's not around me. You know, she's not here with me anymore, but she's here. So, Regala, I'm truly blessed. There's nothing like a mother. Bless him. We love, okay. We only have our mom, our dad, our dad passed away. Mine did too when I was five years old. So I don't know nothing about no daddy. My mama was my mama and my daddy. My granddaddy was my daddy. My mama's mama. My mama's daddy. That was my daddy. That's the only, uh, and I called him granddaddy, which he was granddaddy. We only have our mama. Okay, let's clear them down. Hey, we got a little happy Friday. We got a was Prince, yes, indeed. I took care of my mama till she took her last breath. My, 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 my. Sure is it. My mom means the world. Me too, Chrissy. Me too. It ain't a devil in hell or on earth going to uh, say nothing to me about my mother. Uh, I know what my mama did for me. Not only me, for all of us. Uh, Chris, I am the baby of eight kids. They got uh, money miss clean up the mess. Two time Chris Prince me too. I'm the baby of eight. I'm the I'm the fourth oldest. I'm the fourth from the oldest and the fourth from the youngest. 
So I'm that middle child. My son is my mom's pet. He is her first grandson and he does no wrong. That's how my daughter, my I ain't calling no name because that uh that nothing would be on here trying to do that. My mama's hard. And I'm gonna tell you something else. And y'all might not believe this. Sometimes that can cause a lot of confusion and jealousy in the family amongst sisters. I'm just speaking from my experience. Amongst sisters, when they know that mommy loves this certain one, and then y'all come along and y'all have these girls. But see, you don't understand that this certain one been here. That was the first one. And that's the first love. And then sometimes that could cause confusion or jealousy or hatred. Y'all don't know nothing about that. I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, Lisa, wow, so beautiful. My mother was my best friend. We cooked, shopped, church, and beauty shopped together. My mom never done, drove, so I was her personal driver. There was nothing too good for my mother. And my mother ain't never drove. Yes, yeah, she said when we were little, she tried to drive. And she hit the mailbox and knocked it down. So she didn't try to drive no more. But honey, she ain't had no driver's license. And I'm, I'm going to always have those memories in my head. When my mama gone, those are memories that I would take with me until my death. Okay, nothing but the devil. Okay, let me go back. Hmm. My son, okay, I seen that heartless. Wow, so beautiful. My mother, okay. Nothing but the devil. Yeah, hello, Miss Cara. My mom is 83 and gets around. Oh, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. My mom was getting around really good too at 83. My mama got around very well until she was 88. Very well. Very well. Lisa Thompson, my mom is 77. Take no medication. Lost her husband four years ago. Still traveling and driving by herself. Now, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Michaela, my son is 37 also. Okay. Miss Clean of the Mess. Bless hands. I'm keeping quiet today. Mom's the world. You better believe it. You better. And I'm always saying I had the best mom in the world. But I know if some out here got a mama better than, I ain't going to say better than mine, but just as good as mine. Because I uh, I got a mama of gold. Oh. Woo! Ah. I'm about to change this subject because y'all is upsetting me. I'm going to change this subject. My grandmother lived to see 93. And I'm going to tell y'all something. My mother is 90. My husband's mother, she's 96. She lived alone. She cooks. She cleans. She do everything for herself. And she's a cooking woman. And she still can do anything she wants to do. She's 96 years old in her right mind and still getting around. 96. And my husband is 80. His mother is 96. Miss Ruby, she's getting around. You understand me? Does everything. Don't want nobody there with her. Living in a, a five-bedroom home, three baths, upstairs and downstairs. And don't want nobody there with her. She have outlived all of her kids. Miss Ruben had eight children. She have outlived all of them. Ain't but three left. My husband is the oldest. That's his sister next to him. She's 78. My husband is 80. And that's the uh next to the, the oldest boy next to them. He's uh, something like 66. And the rest of all of them was younger. 
she have lived outlived every one of them. Five gone home to be with the Lord. She outlived every damn one of them and still, still kicking. In my hand to God. Woman does everything. Uh, canned food, canned tomatoes, string beans. 96 years old. And and the man I married, he's he's 80. Get around good. Get out there at the yard. Uh, mow yard, do anything. Go down there. He picked the garden here. He go down there, pick the garden for his mother. They planted his mother garden. Go down there, pick the garden for her. She canned tomatoes, string beans, uh, uh, make watermelon pickles. She does it all by herself and don't want nobody living there with her. Mm -mm. You all all know I'm going to cut. I know you're right, uh, Prince. I knew it was coming. Uh, Prince, maybe we ought to throw some of them damn bananas over there on the left side. Because I tell you, there's a lot of monkeys over there. I mean, maybe they hungry. Maybe we need to feed them. Or what What y'all think? We need to feed the monkeys? Uh, well, Prince, I am too, baby, uh, eight. Uh, well, see, so y'all had eight kids. Uh, that one had eight kids. My mama got eight kids. But see... All of us are living but one. Uh, I got a sister that was a year older than I am. She died five years ago of breast cancer. I don't like to talk about it. I don't bring that up. She was the third oldest, and I was the fourth. She died of breast cancer five years ago. Now I'm the third oldest. So it's, it's now it's seven of us, of us still living. Prayers are going up for your mother and family. Thank you so much. Miss Carver Moss and Chess. Yeah, Miss Lee. I would do anything in this world to have mine back. I love my mother. Honey, y'all better thank God. And I'm thanking God every day. Every, thank God that I still got a, my living mother. Prince, I have seven brothers. You got seven brothers? <laughs> We are a family of girls. My mama got two boys. We are six girls. We are a family of girls. And I got girls. I have two girls. I didn't want any boys. And I didn't have any. Thank God. Uh, because thankful prayers are going to. Okay. Trying time. Okay, Miss Steven. I would do it. Okay. I don't read it. Uh, flowers for your mom. Thank you. So who said that? Blessed our jobs are praying and flowers for your mom. Oh, thank you so much, Blessing. Thank you so much. Rosa, I turned 60 on August the 5th, and my mother would be 85. Oh, my Jesus. Mm, Virginia, my mom lived for 88 years. She had 13 children. What a blessing. Uh, Wanna hop. My mom is 99 and still going to church. Your mom 99? Is she walking? And that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Trying times, blessing hot top, butterfly kisses. Thank you for the hearts and a miss go get her. Mine was everything, and mine still everything. Mine still everything. Oh, you better believe it. Uh, blessing hot top. Hey, pretty lady, Doris. Hope you having a good day, dog. Miss Jackie Johnson. What a blessing. You better believe it. Uh, Tim okay. My granny and nine one still do everything for now. That's a blessing to me. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. That sounds like my husband, mother, 96 years old. And that's a strong woman. I ain't never in my life. And don't look now day older than uh 80. Uh Riley Pooh. Wow, that's a blessing. You have you both have you both of us. Mine nine and he's 96. Sag like, hope for tonight is peace. Be still. Let tonight be a day of reflecting on great memories and great time. I told you that devil ain't going to steal my joy today. Mm -mm. I, I gave it to her this morning yesterday. The devil is a lie. Uh, good early Friday evening, Miss Carlton. Hey, 
blessing. I love watermelon pickles. Yes, Lord, I do too. Blessing. Uh, thank you. I am and hope you having a great day. Will his mother make them best watermelon pickles? All kinds of pear preserves, apple preserves, peach preserve, fig preserve. And that woman, she can can anything, cook anything. Misrespect my opinion. Thank you for the $25 super chat, honey. Thank you so much, Misrespect. This, that, and the third. Feed the monkeys. Y'all throw the monkeys some bananas. Y'all throw them some bananas uh, while they over there trying to figure out where that money at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, let's change the subject. I will change the subject because I get very emotional when I talk about it. How's the weather in your city? It's 86 here in California. I told y'all when I got back to uh, things in 90 degrees. 90. Going to pay. Hello, Miss Cara. Hey, y'all. Come up, up in here. Yeah, let's y'all talk about something that we can laugh about. That's, that's, that's very depressing. It's amazing. The elders that live long lives. I have a dear friend. He's 94 and still cuts grass. And said, he was a logger all his life. He has 12 brothers. Look like the ones that work hard all their life. They live the longest. They live the longest. Uh, and, and, and that's a, that's a, that's real important there. That's true. Prince, I'll be right back. Okay, Prince. Go ahead and take care of your mother. This is then the third. Yeah, Regala. They will be 14 months this coming month. Oh, Miss Chan. Y'all throw them down, monkeys. That's a bananas. Oh, look at them running. Look at them running. Look at them running. They ain't hitting the like button, though. They falling like the bushes. Y'all keep missing that like button. Y'all keep missing it. Try again. Try again. <laughs> Josephine Snowball laughing. <laughs> Okay, there you go, y'all. Come on, hit that like button. Y'all see the bananas? Hit that. Oh, there you go. Come on out of the bush. Hit that like button. Pick up some of these bananas. There you go. Come on now, y'all. Come on and hit that like button. Hit that like button. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, talk about an age difference. My oldest from my original kids is 22. Laugh out loud. And now taller's level. Oh, my Jesus. We got to This, that, wow, starting over. Bless you, honey. Let's clear up the mess. Does anyone ever watch uh, Miss Holler? She's 96 and talk a lot of junk. But she's very sick now, still talking junk. I do. Well, my husband's mother, she's 96. But she's a joy to talk to. She's, but she don't be talking all that stuff, you know. She's a joy to talk to. In her right mind, too. She can tell you shit they have way back, young. Way back, young. I ain't lying. Way back, young. What the hell? Uh, and my twins are two girls. Lanaya, what is it? Little Lanaya and Adrienne. Okay, this that, that you have twins. Damn, both of our kids are laughing. Miss Chan laughing my ass off, Josephine. I love Holly. I do too. You know, I have a love for elderly people. I'm gonna tell y'all something, y'all ain't gonna believe it. Was it yesterday or day before yesterday? Yeah, uh that day I went and got that MRI. Today, Friday, I think it was Wednesday. So my husband and I, we stopped at Bojangles on the way back. Sitting there eating, we were sitting there eating after I went to our MR. And I saw this, this lady come in there. She had a mother with her. Her mama was walking behind her. And when I looked at that lady, I bust out and started crying. We were sitting there eating our food. I bust out and start crying. My husband said, what is wrong with you? He said, you looked at that lady and she reminded you of your mama, didn't you? I said, she sure did. That lady looked just like my mother. 
walking behind her daughter. That lady reminded me so much of my mama. I sit there and cried and cried and cried. I couldn't even finish eating my food. And that's what a mother do to you. That's what you call love for your mother. Wow, that's a blessing. Yeah. Miss Carver, do you ever bake? Uh, uh, yeah, I bake chicken or something like that, but uh, I make I can bake a cake, but other than pies, I'm I don't do no pies. I can bake a cake. I I never could bake no pies. Never tried to bake no pies. Always bought my pies. Miss Carl, okay, this didn't th oh hugs, Miss Carl, yeah, I press it back. No, I always buy my pies, but I can bake a, a good cake, good cake. Oh, I can cook good. I make good. I can cook good, but I don't have to cook that often because my husband loves to cook. But I cooked all my all them years for my girls, and I'm the only one that was cooking when we was at home coming up because my mother worked, and I was the cook. I cooked for all of us, even made biscuits. <laughs> I sure did. I was a cook. Yep. So I can go in there. My husband, most of the time he'll cook. I go in there and clean up while I wash the dishes. I do the floors. But he likes to cook. Now, he loves to cook. He loves to cook. Oh, this is that my grandmother made the yummiest uh, rhubarb pie. Oh, okay. Uh, we love red hearts over here in yellow. Yep. Prince, Miss Respect, thanks for the super chat. Thank you so much, Prince. This is the third. I have the fondest memories in the kitchen with my grandmother. <laughs> okay. Good question. Hi, Miss Garvin Jet. Hi. Yeah, I, I'm <sighs> cooking question. I'm known for that. It used to, when my, I had my girls at home, I had a son that I used to cook a big meal, dessert, uh, just a big meal every Sunday. That was my thing because all through the week I was working and I made Sunday a special day. And a lot of times I would we would work seven days a week. But when Sunday came, I always made it a special day that I was going to cook a big meal on that Sunday where we can just sit down at the dinner table and eat like a family. Because I was always working. Remember, Prince and Memo for three months, they lit us. Thank you so much, Prince. Thank you so much. This, that, and the third yellow house. Thank you. Thank you. But see, I have I was always a working mother until I retired. I always was that working mother, but I always cooked. I was on second shift. I always got up, got my girls dressed for school, did their hair. Took them to school, came back, prepared their uh, uh, dinner. When they came home from school, I would be gone to work, but I would always have their dinner ready for them on the stove. Always. And all they had, to, they had to do was come in, fix their plates, take off their school clothes, do their homework, take their baths, and go to bed. They was here with their dad. He would pick them up. Because he was on first shift and I was on second. Uh, Rita Williams said, welcome to Daylilies. Everybody welcome Rita to our, over here to our home. Welcome Rita. Uh, this then third. I love cooking meals. We were so, were so important. When my kids were growing up, and yes, you have to juggle it all. You got to do it. You got to do it. That's a hot topic, laughing. And I used to be so tired. I, I mean, I know I worked seven days so many, so many months. I used to be so tired, but I had to always get up in that morning. I always got up and made sure I had my kids dinner fixed before I went to work. They ate their breakfast, and I always had their dinner on their stove before I went to work. Always. I got up every morning, combed their hair every morning. I did their hair, combed it, put ribbons on it. 
And I got about 21 staff books over here, over there with my girls for memories for my children when they and, their, and my grandkids. Memories of the mother that I was to my girls. Sure did. I did their hair. I washed their hair, shampooed it, conditioned it. I, I had a chair in a stool. I would pull over to my range, my stove in my kitchen. And I would pull my chair and I had a stool. And they sat between my legs. I pressed their hair every two weeks. And both of them had hair hanging down their back. And we go to church on Sunday. You should have heard the people tell me, oh, my God, who did these girls' hair? I did it. Long, pretty hair. Ribbons. I had ribbons. Hair bows on every ponytail. Dressed to the T. The clothes they had on. Because I was that mother. I'm still that, that mother. I put my kids before. But don't, don't get me wrong. I was sharp as a tack too. Because I made sure my husband, you're going to bring that check home. You're going to pay the bills. And I'm going to take my money. And I'm going to take care of my girls and me and you for clothes. I do the same for my boys, Miss Carla. I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner for them. And yes, I serve them their place. My sons are 26 and 14. That's what a mother's supposed to do. And if my girl, if you ever see either one of my girls, they can tell you about their mother. You better believe it. <laughs> you better believe that. Glad to be a member of Miss Carver chat. Thank you so much, Rena. Bless you. Yes, I did that plate, plate fixing. I mean, until my kids left home and they were grown. There you go. Alicia, see, I can tell by the way you carry yourself that you are a good wife, mother, and homemaker. Hell, all my life. All my life. Because I know if you got to be there for them girls, if you don't, somebody going to take advantage of them. And I raised mine. You better believe it. You better believe it. So we're going to get up off of him and juggle in and activities that we're in. Yep, Fox Plate. Yeah, hell yeah. We're going to get up off of him. And I'm going to go right down that Patty. Yo, what time is it? Oh, yeah, it's just 524. I'm going to go out here and sit and get some of this hot air. Cut that fan on and sit out here and just watch the neighborhood. I want to thank everybody for coming. And if I catch a whole lot to anything on this YouTube scene, but I doubt it because I'm not going to even be on here. I'm just going to enjoy my guests in my home and just sit out on the back. So thank everybody for coming. Thank y'all for the super chats and the super stickers. And may God bless y'all. Peace. Till the next time.